Get to know Alexander Riesenkamp, CEO of Get Vocal, and Stacey J. Johnson, a dating, love, and relationship coach. Alexander, so as Chief Executive Officer of Get Vocal, tell me more about the solutions that your company brings to the marketplace. Yeah, I would love to, and thank you for the opportunity, Shabdria. Get Vocal is interactive podcasting. And we're really the first one to define what interactive podcasting means. It doesn't really exist yet, so we're kind of excited about that. And it's really three things. It lets podcasters engage with their fan base and their audience, number one. Two, it lets them grow their audience. And three, and this is something that we think is very important, it lets them monetize their audience as well. So we've built all kinds of solutions to help a direct monetization. And yeah, that's essentially what we bring to the table. You could imagine it as interactive live video shows specifically for podcasters and their communities. So imagine combining Zoom with Facebook Live and creating this amazing social experience around that, that's good. Uh, are there any distinct features that, you know, while you're podcasting, are you able to interact with your audience? Are they able to message you, kind of like Facebook Live? Is it similar to that? So you have the whole chat room that's going on. And then in addition to that, you can allow your audience to come onto the virtual stage with you. Well, like so it makes it even more interactive than something like Facebook Live. So it's really, it, it's almost like a call-in talk show that we have built specifically for podcasters. And so there's also the whole community aspect where you can um, you know, become friends with other people that are the fans of the creator that you love. I was just chatting here with Alex about his um, his platform and getting to know why he his why. Uh huh. <laughs> it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Alex, I would love for you to introduce Stacy and Stacy's show and how you two began um, working together before I dive into Stacy's platform or Stacy's show. <laughs> how did you two start working together? Perfect. So. As I mentioned, Get Vocal is all about interactive shows. And those interactive shows work because you have amazing talent such as Stacy that come up with amazing concepts. And so that's how we met. We approached Stacy and said, this is what we've built. Do you have some ideas for creating an amazing show around that? And Stacy sure did. And so we started working together and especially we're excited about the Meet Your Match show that Stacey launched. And I think probably Stacey, you're, you're better at talking about that than, than I am. Yes. I'm, well, first of all, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to um, be here with you and congratulations on all the success of your show. Um, yeah, you know, it's interesting when Get Vocal approached me about doing a show, I was like, who are these people? <laughs> but then, now they're like my family. I love Get Vocal. I love everything that the platform stands for, empowering um, creators like myself to be creative. And honestly, what's wonderful about Get Vocal, it allows you to simulcast on all these different platforms at one time, so you're not reaching out to everybody separately. As well as they have this little B-coin aspect where basically the creator, more than a YouTube or any of the other places out there, there is really you really can see the amount of money you can make because we're creators yes but we have to make a living and what I like about the v-coin aspect of get vocal what was really attractive is it allows me a creator to actually see how the dollars come in and we're more in a partnership more than YouTube is a partnership but I have some creator friends on YouTube that I don't know how they even know they when they make their first dollar they just kind of it, you know, 500,000 views and then, oh, wow, you got $500. Well, wow, 500,000 views and $500. <laughs> that doesn't happen at Get Vocal. So it's never, it's not a balance with the other platforms. So when I was approached by Get Vocal, I was like, absolutely, let's get it popping. And I'd had this idea called Love Rants. And um, what I realized was 
I didn't know I was ready to do it as quickly, but I was, you know, when the opportunity, what is that saying? When opportunity meets preparation. Uh, so I was like, okay, yeah, I'm ready. And um, the platform Love Rants is basically, I interview celebrities um, and influencers and they come on the show and they talk about their love story and their three love lessons and how those lessons have influenced how they love today. And um, gosh, we've had people like Jamal Bryant, Pastor Jamal Bryant, Mimi Fowles, Young Jock, um, the star of um, All American, Kareem Gr Grimes, uh, who else have we had? Braylee Evans, Tawanda Braxton, a host of celebrities. And then in the midst of doing that, the pandemic happened. And I was like, what in the world? How everything was going so good. How am I gonna bring people together you know, um, when everybody is so concerned about the wherewithal of our lives, I said, but they still have to love. They still have to date. What is my part? What is going to be my part in this as a creator and a dating, love, and relationship expert and matchmaker? And I said, you know what? I'm going to go to get vocal and ask them, not only will I do love rants, but maybe two weeks out of the month, we'll do meet your match which um, Alex and his team said, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and um, it was so exciting because first of all, it was six hours of dating, six hours straight. Six Literally, hours? I feel like I, feel like I um, de-niced um, the love industry. It was six hours of nothing but singles meeting from all over the world and it was 80 dates imagine during a pandemic so how was it set is it like everybody on one call on one video chat or is it like or is it scheduled well, alex can alex can explain the platform okay. <laughs> how did how does that work alex when you when you first did that how did how did it work where there how did you attract so many people at one time so the format is the virtual equivalent of a stage with an auditorium, if you will, right? And the stage has four seats on it. And the special thing is that everyone in the auditorium can chat with each other and also with the folks on the stage, but also every seat in that auditorium has a little button that beams you onto the stage, right? So that's essentially what we've built with Get Vocal, what the format feels like. So for Meet Your Match, we have hundreds of folks in the auditorium um, and thousands more watching on the social platforms to which the show gets streamed. And then, you know, 10,000 of people that watch this whole thing on demand after the fact. And then whilst it's going live, you have Stacy and one of her celebrity co-hosts, and they ask, a single and then whatever match that single gets matched up with to come onto the stage and everyone else is on the sideline kind of talking interacting giving their feedback on what's going on live and you know i was surprised by how how good that worked and how intimate it still feels because you could imagine you know we're dating or, or folks are dating and they're being watched that feels awkward but not at all so, so that was an experiment that, that we ran and I think it worked really well and Stacey's able to make these singles feel very comfortable. Stacey, you're, what do you say? You say that you're kind of like the their, their bigger sister that helps them figure the date out. Oh yeah, I, they, are, they call me Auntie Stacy. I'm like, wait now, hold on, Auntie? Okay, yeah, I can be Auntie. Yes, they call me Auntie Stacy because for me, this thing is spiritual for me, you know, even as a coach. I'm not the coach that's saying, okay, look a certain way, act a certain way, talk a certain way, and then you will get a man or a woman. No, I'm saying, let's start on our inner work first. And that's what makes, I, when women do coach with me, that's what makes me a lot different because everyone's needs are different, you know? And I believe in coaching individuals rather than giving people these things to do to quote unquote, make them more attractive to the opposite sex. Um, I believe what makes Meet Your Match so amazing um, for singles is that it's after they come on, I always, because I do a checkup call, and I say, see? And they go, yeah, wow, it was so much fun. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I think because I'm more of your sister girl, auntie, funny, engaging, and um, they know that I'm going to take care of them 
Also, I think now the, like I just recently had a doctor reach out to my DM and said, hey, I saw this amazing thing that you do on Get Vocal, um, Meet Your Match, how do I get involved? So I, I believe now what's happening is the word is spreading because I have really quality people quality men and quality women from all walks of life who are all prepared for love. And I can tell you in the world where the statistics are 75% of black people are single, according to the, the newest US Census Bureau or whatever, it, when you hear those statistics and it's like, well, and now I'm stuck in the house, what am I supposed to do? Well, how can I meet people and really trust that I'm going to meet quality people. And I believe now, even more than before, um, we've always gotten quality people. I think that's why Essence featured us in um, their magazine. But now amongst the community of people, it's like, okay, all walks of life, doctors, lawyers, teachers, principals, you know, everyone is wanting to, other celebrities actually have approached me, wanted to be on Influencers, want to be on Meet Your Match. Yeah. Have, so there, really been any, have there been any Get Vocal Love Rant success stories so far? I can tell you, um, well, the Love Rant is a separate entity, but the Meet Your Match, yeah, there are definitely some people who are still dating. And I always say, you know, you want to date and have fun. And it's, we did the first one around March and it's what, August? Um, so we haven't had any marriages or any weddings or anything, but I do stay in contact with people and I know that everybody is still enjoying getting to know each other. And honestly, for me, that's exactly the only thing that should be, should be going on <laughs> in these situations. That is awesome. I love the platform. I love what you all are doing, how you're working together. I mean, I'm excited to hear that I mean, during the pandemic, if you're a creative, you know, opportunities to make money can be limited. So it's, I'm excited about what Get Vocal is doing to help creatives. And I'm excited to see a creative, you know, be able to thrive and um, flourish in your ideas, like to go from love rants to meet your match. And you're helping people find love. I think it's absolutely amazing. Are you both married, may I ask? Are you both in relationships or married? I'm not married. I'm in a relationship, but I'm not married. Okay. <laughs> and I'm about to get married. Yeah. <laughs> oh, congratulations, yeah. Alex. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, you don't know that yet. We just uh, we just set a date yesterday. <laughs> oh, oh, congratulations. Well, congratulations. That's awesome. Um, what advice do you both have for any singles out there who are, you know, looking for love, maybe nervous, may feel like the pandemic is not the best time to meet someone? What advice can you both offer someone yet? Well, I can definitely say, you know, I, I'm one of those people, again, I start from the inside out. And as long as you're breathing, you have an opportunity to meet your match. And that means that you just have to incorporate um, opening your um, space spiritually to, uh, to meet people just along your journey. So if you're at Target or Best Buy or you know, getting in your car from the, from the mall or whatever you're doing, going to the bank. All, I, I say always have that, always be open spiritually to meet people everywhere. It's interesting, we'll wake up in the morning and we'll get dressed and we'll have five or even during the pandemic, you know, whether you're, like I said, going to the grocery store, just your normal stuff. And we forget that we can attract people wherever we are. Some type of way we've been programmed to believe that we have to get up and go somewhere specific to me. And I would just say, and especially within this, this pandemic thing that we have going on, um, to not do that, to really wake up in the morning and say, today is the day that I can attract the romantic love that will be with me for the rest of my life. And if you change that, that thought process of I got to go somewhere to meet somebody, then, you know, spiritually, you're much more open and available to receive what the universe, spirit, and God, source has to give you. I love that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not the expert on this, but what Stacy said resonates a lot. So I, I, I met my match and immediately there, there was just this energy that was happening that I that both of us noticed, you know, there wasn't any games, there was nothing. It was just blown away by this thing that's never happened to me in my life before. And it was sort of, I knew it. And then the pandemic 
I think it's almost like a it's a pressure it's a pressure cooker because uh, during the pandemic you'll really notice are you compatible with someone or are you not right so that's kind of what happened to me uh, in my case a really accelerated thing um and i think that that like when you know you know that's what i can say from my own experience i can even tell from watching stacy's show which i love to you know i try to watch as many shows on get vocal as possible but really watching stacy's show is something that i don't want to miss because it's so uplifting and you can really even though it's virtual you notice when those connections happen and i feel like everyone else in the audience feels like feels uplifted when these when these special it's hard to describe what it exactly is but when that when that thing happens everyone feels excited and ends the show with that warm tingly feeling that i think gives everyone hope and inspiration that love is something that can happen for them as well so i think that happened to me and i feel that happening in stacy's show and so yeah super glad to be part of that oh thank you alex you know what i have to mention to get vocal as a partner just creative watching this um from a creator standpoint i have to say that they are truly a partner um with me and and creating these um especially the meet your match brand because what they've done is i used to do all of my um matchmaking manually when i say that i mean you know i would um I would in, you know input into the Google form and they would fill out the form and then I would go through manually and match people and I would always say I wanted people to at least be an 80% match um just from a um a question standpoint how they answer the questions and um I it would take me hours imagine trying to match 80 dates that's 160 people and after the success of that um Alex and I talked and he was like, "Wow, how can we keep this going?" And I was like, "Oh my god, I have not slept in weeks because that was so excruciating as far as because I was doing everything manually and I'm so, you know, spiritually connected to people finding love. I couldn't just do anything. I needed them to be 80% match on paper." So then he said, "Well, why don't we put together a little algorithm or something to where now we can say if man answers this, then match him with women that answer this. Now from a creator standpoint, I'm just doing it manually. Instead, um as a partner, get vocal said, "No, we want to make this easier for you." And they went and wrote this whole algorithm. And now, um the matching, of course, I still have to look at Instagrams and Facebooks and all of that to really solidify me being spiritually like, "Yes, these are the ones I want today." But it was really um a help to me as a creator for get vocal to even open the door to be able to be so interested in the success of meet your match how can we make it better and then so that you don't have to exhaust yourself so they're really a, it's um working with them has been an extreme pleasure i've been in this business for about 7 years and i can say that get vocal is the first place that i i feel like um we're growing together and um and it's it's refreshing absolutely so thank you alex i know that feels good to hear alex <laughs> well alex yeah, it certainly if, does thank you if anyone is interested in getting involved with get vocal what's the best way for them to connect with you yeah just reach out to us our handle is at get vocal on insta you can write us an email info@getvocal.com however you want and You can of course just sign up for the platform, do your shows if you want to be part of our premium content blocks, get in touch with us and we'll figure out if there's a slot that we can make available. Awesome. And Stacy, if anybody wants to follow your journey, check out your matchmaking services, get some advice on these on these relationships out here, what's the best way to connect with you? <laughs> Absolutely. My Instagram is at @justdategirl. And um please I just released my audiobook of Date Girl 143 Reasons Why I Believe Women Should Date Multiple Men with No Intimacy on Audible. So if you're an Audible subscriber, please go get uh, my book and I'm so excited about that. It just came out yesterday. Congratulations on your new book. Congratulations on an amazing new company, Alex. I wish you both the very best. 
And thank you so much for being on the show, your show today. <laughs> Take care. <Thank> you. <laughs> Bye. Right. I'll chat with you all soon and send you the links and everything. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye. Alex. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Andrea. You're Thanks, welcome. Stacey. Bye.